today on Tracking Bigfoot. But stared at me with this look and I, I, a chill went completely down my spine. I was so scared at that moment. I am Jalunos Pequinot. You can call me Yankee. Currently, I'm on investigation doing a follow-up on a possible Bigfoot or Grassman sighting right here in Northwest Ohio. If you'd like to know more about the investigation that I'm on, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell icon, you'll also be notified of all future uploads. There's a lot of Bigfoot and Grassman sightings here in Ohio, and my investigating has led me to some interesting people with some incredible accounts. One of the interviews that led me to this particular investigation come from an individual who's a civil service worker. He's very respected in the community, and I actually see him as a credible witness. He wanted to remain anonymous, but I talked him into allowing me to record his story and alter the voice. He had an incredible experience while kayaking, but don't take my word for it. Check it out. Yankees Outdoor Adventures. Hey, Yankee. You got him. This is... Hey, brother. It's great to hear from you. I'm ready to do the recording. Well, thank you very much for having me on, and I, I really appreciate you taking time to, to listen to what happened to me. Well, like I said, uh, we can we can do this however you want. I'm all set up, and uh, just it's up to you. Well, I put a lot of thought into this, and I think the best way to do it is if, uh, if I just tell you what happened... And uh, we'll save any questions till the end. Does that sound good to you? That sounds like a, a great idea. Uh, I'm sure I'll have a lot of questions at the end. So uh, go ahead and just start at the beginning. It was a beautiful summer day. I do a lot of kayaking. I've lived here in Ohio for over 35 years. And kayaking is one of my favorite summertime activities. And uh, I took off work to go kayaking this day. I usually go with a lot of people, but this particular day I couldn't get anybody however I didn't let that stop me from from going I, I decided to go by myself you know in retrospect I wish I didn't just to be perfectly honest with you uh, I'm, I'm not one of those guys who are vlogging everything I do and stuff I I was I was just out to enjoy nature it's the reason I go out so I don't bring a camera and, and things like that I'm not there to do that so I didn't even have that with me uh, kind of makes me wish I had at least another set of eyes with me but so be it, I didn't. Like I said, I kayak this river all the time, but there is a particular stretch that I don't go very often. But for some reason, this was where I decided to go today. It's it's over there in <laughs> County, Ohio. Well, that's where I put the kayak in. There's a lot of little islands on this river, and it's kind of interesting because the islands don't have a lot of uh, wildlife. There's not much wildlife left in this region, big wildlife anyway, aside from deer. I do love seeing the deer on the island because there's so many of them down here. And it's always so fascinating to me that, you know, here we are in the middle of everything in a way, but yet in the middle of the river lays these series of islands that kind of have their own habitat. They, they don't get walked on very much. Uh, the most kayakers like myself kind of admire them as we go by. Now, there's this one particular spot that the islands kind of split apart and it leaves a canal of water down between the two and it's a it's, it's about 12 foot wide is all it is and and you're really you're out of any of the rapids of the water the water's kind of uh runs real slow through there and i noticed the opening uh not at the time didn't even realize if it went all the way through or if it was you know or if it was just uh went into the island a little bit but i wanted to check it out so i paddled over i i was just so calm and relaxed. I, I wasn't even splashing water once I got into the canal. I put my paddle up across the kayak and just was admiring the beauty and, and the, the calmness that was in there. That's when I heard the ruckus. I got real excited at first. A herd of deer. I knew that's what it was going to be, right? Like I said, there's no big animals left. And through the through the cracks and crevices of the leaves and trees, I seen the the movement of that reddish brown, that reddish brown color that I knew that I I was looking at at least one deer. But by the sound, I knew uh, I was listening to a whole bunch of them. 
I grabbed my paddle so I could quickly turn. I was slowly drifting by where I'd just heard and seen what I thought were deer. As I turned the kayak and nosed it around to where the noise came from, that's when the rock come over the bushes. If, if, there's no way this rock just fell down the bank into the water. It came over the bushes and hit the water in front of the kayak and it was a huge rock. It was a huge splash and it, it just totally, totally freaked me out. I, I, I had no idea what in the heck that was and I was looking at the bank and I know there was no way anything rolled off of it. it the bank doesn't go above the bushes and that's where the rock came from. And as I was, as I was trying to figure out what just went on, I continued to paddle my nose toward the island bank. That's when I again saw that brown color, that brownish red of a deer, but it stood up. I was down in the kayak and there was a little embankment up to the island and then a big row of bushes that had a stand at least four or five foot tall. When it stood up, its head stuck above the bushes and it didn't make a sound. It didn't do anything but stared at me with this look and I, I, a chill went completely down my spine. I was so scared at that moment. And then it hurtled another rock that hit the kayak. At that moment, I got out of there. I took off. I was gone. I'm not messing around here no more. I didn't even look back. I went around that island completely to get back up to where I started from. It was uh, the most terrifying experience I've ever had in my life. It was right here in <laughs> County, Ohio. And I know people don't realize it, but there's something out there. Wow, brother. What an incredible story. Well, I... And again, thank you. And, and I'm ready to take any, any questions. I want to thank you for putting yourself out there. And... I had a lot of questions for him, and I'm incredibly grateful that he was willing to give me such a detailed interview with, with details of a description and answered every question I asked. In fact, if you'd like to see the detailed interview, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until our trails meet again, I hope all your adventures are awesome. Keep tracking.